Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Has Governor Godwin Obaseki finally sent Adam Sushumole to an unplanned political retirement? Hello, everyone. Um, some issues have been going on recently and um, is beginning to look like um, Governor Gordon Obaseki has sent uh, Adam Sushumole to an early retirement, uh, one that I believe he did not um, bargain for, but it, has, it was just like when something is imposed on you, you have no choice. You know, that's what it feels like. And with all that is going on, we are hearing whispers here and there that Sushumole is saying now that these boys are coming up to cause trouble in the land, you know, the, the, the cult activity that is going on what is obaseki doing about it you know and um, i mean the stakes are high and a lot of people voices here and there let's get straight into the news and get all the details please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time has governor gordon obaseki finally sent adams Oshumole to an unplanned early retirement. The recent concluded Edo State governorship election is one that many would not forget in a hurry. The election, which many thought could be married by political violence due to the fuel between the immediate past governor of the state, Adam Sushumole, and the governor, Governor Gordon Obaseki, eventually ended up as one of the most peaceful, fair, and credible elections in Nigeria. However, the victory of Obaseki is is one that mm -hmm. surely does not go down well with Adams Oshomole. Of course, it's evident. Everybody knows that Oshomole is not happy. He would have wanted his uh, candidate to win. The person of a uh, pastor, Sage Ize Iyamu. So, if you say if it didn't go down with, well with him, we know. It could be recalled that before the election, the duo has engaged each other in war of words with, Obas with Governor Gordon Obaseki promising to bury Oshomole's political political career on the other hand oshomole was confirmed that his game plan will be enough to kick obaseki out of office through voting but the election had come and gone with victory for baseki why oshomole and his anointed candidate pastor sage ize iyamu are left to try their luck the next four years or next time, whenever that will be. Uh, I mean, that's what it is now. Uh, Pastor Sage Ize Yamu is resting. Uh, Baseki on his inauguration said, uh, Pastor Sage Ize Yamu has not reached out to him up until now. That Ize Yamu did not reach out to him. Let's continue. With Oshomole having been dislodged from Edo politics by Governor Gordon Obaseki and the, and the fact that this is coming shortly after the former governor of Edo State was suspended as the national chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, we may begin to wonder if Governor Gordon Obaseki has finally sent former governor Oshomole to an unplanned political retirement. According to his word, I will end Oshomole politically. It could be recalled that prior to the election, Adams Oshomole was politically vibrated and always all over the place with many urging that he could be he could use his connection with the powers to ensure Governor Gordon Obaseki was defeated. However, this did not happen. With the election already concluded, Governor Gordon Obaseki re-elected and inauguration all done and dusted. The voice of Adam Sushomole no longer heard, unlike in the in like in period before the election, knowing fully well that Governor Gordon Obaseki is now fully in control of a do state for the next four years. Oshomole must have realized that his grip on Edo politics has now been finally removed his hands no longer holds anything we may begin to wonder if governor gordon obaseki has really and finally according to his predictions and word sent adam sushomole to political retirement like he said i will end oshomole politically 
Well, we heard that um, Oshomole, I mean, did not hide the fact that they believed in Godfatherism as they brought, um, what's his name now? They brought him there. They brought him to Edo State. Uh, Desmond Eloyd. Desmond Eloyd told the people of Edo State to support Godfatherism. In fact, it's very good. Godfatherism brought him to where he is today. He could not and never had been a House of Red member if not for, you know, the fact that uh, he got a Godfather in the person of Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu who really helped him and today is now you know is now in a is now in the house of rape all due to thanks to godfatherism so he told people of Edo State to embrace godfatherism and that the people in fact should you know continue you know to to support godfatherism and you know and, and you know they brought him in they brought him in and he spoke and but the truth of the matter is it is no longer 1972 or 1981, or 1993, or even 2005. Times have changed. Times have changed. And, you know, Obaseki's re-election was not the doing of any man. In fact, in fact, that Obaseki's one, you could see that, you know, it was as if even the heavens was fighting anything that says, you know, Obaseki should not be re-elected. You know, even, even the heavens... So, I mean, these are part of the issues that are going on currently now as we speak. It is very, I mean, you know, you, you don't, no man is God. So you don't come and try to take the place of God. You don't do that. You don't. You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't, you don't, you don't let people, you don't come there and begin to tell people that, uh, yes, so uh, I'm the one. Without me, nothing can happen. And this, that, that, that. You see, so, I mean. It's happening. It is really happening. You know, Shomole's voice has been silenced. His voice has really been, we've not heard from him, even with the whole, whole shooting. And I, and, I, and I kind of feel, I feel sorry for these politicians because there are times called, uh, called when, you know, when people, people that side, that side bold, yeah, when, when, they, when they want to get in and really, they wait till the time that the wave of the sea is coming and they calculate and jump on the wave that's how they swore that's how they are able to ride with the waves as the wave come but nigerian politicians they are such a people who are not you know who are not even ready honestly i would say they are not ready in my opinion there are moments for you to speak for nigerians to say yes we've got somebody who loves us yes we've got somebody who is really who really have a mind for us no man like like answers. It's a time for you to stand up and speak. It's not a time for you to be quiet. We did not hear them. We did not hear them. The ones we heard are the ones trying to lie, cover up, and do a lot of things. Anyway, guys, it is happening. What do you think? Leave us a comment. Don't forget, uh, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.